here we are. It's just about dusk, okay? If you notice the light, I mean, it's dropping very, very quickly, so I'm gonna talk quickly. I'm also gonna cover my mic occasionally because it's a little breezy out here. That sun is gonna go down and it's gonna disappear within the next 10 minutes or so. When the sun is this low in the sky, you've gotta react quickly, really quickly. Right now, what I'm seeing right here, I wanna take this couple, I'm gonna throw the sun directly behind them, and I'm just gonna do some beautiful silhouettes of them just interacting. One of the most important elements of silhouettes is what I talked about earlier, gesture. And one of the things I like to do, and shove aside for a second, Sammy. I want to hold your bride's <laughs> hand. We've all seen this picture. I hate this picture. It's stale, it's boring, there's nothing to it. The groom looks stiff. Tell me you haven't seen this picture. Instead, mm -hmm. Sammy, you're going to kind of come back here and kind of put the weight on your back leg. So already I'm more relaxed. So instead of standing here, I'm here. And the other thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have them kind of pick their hands up this way. So when they're interacting, it's real. It's kind of gesturing towards one another instead of this. So come up with her. Sammy, come on over here. He thought I was asking him to get out of my frame, okay? So um, relax on your back foot, Sammy. Good. There you go. And hands this way. There you go. Down just a little. What I'm going to do right now, my goal is to block the sun with Sarah or Sammy. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to lay down on the ground so that the sun is directly blocked with Sarah or Sammy. Exposures. Let's talk about exposure value. What I have to do here is I have to underexpose enough so not only do I get a silhouette on my subject, but I get a nice, deep, dark background. Where am I gonna start? Somewhere. So here, I'm gonna flip it to uh, F8 and say two thousandth of a second. You know what? And at ISO 200. That may or may not be correct. I'm gonna have the sun blocked by Sammy. Okay, focus point. Very difficult sometimes when photographing a silhouette to focus. So I'm going to focus right where Sammy's white collar is touching his black jacket. So when photographing a silhouette, sometimes it is difficult. I can also probably photograph on Sarah's lace in her veil. So let's see where I am exposure wise. Ah, guess what? <laughs> I'm dead on. It was an accident, I promise. So right now, all I'm trying to do is get their interaction. You guys just do your thing, which they are. I'm making beautiful pictures here at dusk. I've got a nice deep dark style. You want to kiss her hand. Nice gesture there. Good. Good. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to raise up just a little bit so that I can see three dimensionally. I felt the sun was a little bit low on Sammy's body. So I'm going to move just a little bit. Here we go. Right behind him now. Good. Wow, these are really kind of cool. Nice kiss of the hand there, Sammy. Thank you very much for making my job easy. Good. The gesture. Now, that's one image. I'm just going to slide over just a little bit. And you know what, guys? Can we slide down just a little bit more? Because I don't want to get that building in my background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, that's good, thank you very much. And I'm going to slide down and I'm going to get the sun right behind Sarah's veil. Here we go, right about here. All right, and lean in just a little bit more, Sammy. And you guys just do your thing. Beautiful. <laughs> that's gorgeous. I have to wait until the sun is blocked. Otherwise, watch what happens. In fact, Adam, if you can come to me here, okay? And guys, stay just like that, just for a second, okay? Get a little, right there, uh, Sarah, don't move. All right, now, is the sun blocked with Sarah, Adam? No. Okay, block it with uh, 
get into position where it's blocked, okay? And now, Sarah, I want you to back away from him. Now we really can't shoot because there's nothing but flare. Move towards him a little more. A little more, gotta grab him. Good. And now the sun is blocked. So now we've got our silhouette. So we have to be very careful, again, once we've gotten our exposures, and I did that on the first try, I'm at 2,000th of a second, F8, and ISO 200. By the way, I apologize for not talking about my white balance, but it just doesn't matter because I'm in RAW. But I do shoot on cloudy pretty much all day long when I'm outdoors. I do like a very warm glow to my images. Now I'm gonna get something even warmer. So I'm gonna continue with them just interacting there, nice and low here. Good. And I'm not gonna to try to give them too much instruction because I want it as real as possible. I'm gonna move with Sarah when she's moving. Now I'm getting flare, now I'm not. I love when she laughs like that. There it is. Got it. So we've just made some stunning images at dusk. 10, 12, 2, 4, 6, and it's almost 8. Compelling images. We're going to use the light in another way right now. This soft, incredible, buttery light, it's even softer than what we used before. In fact, if you guys turn towards me, okay, and um, you know what? Come down this way just a little bit more. Good. And just kind of grab her. I want you to see how soft this light is right now. It's so easy to use. There's no harsh hot spots. Even Sammy, who's been working hard all day, even he's okay. There's no powder on him or anything of that sort. That's how soft this light is. Right now, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna see three dimensionally, use the trees behind them. Um, and of course, what I have to do right now, I have to change my settings here. Uh, let's see, try F4, because I want them both in focus. Let's try, I don't know, I'm gonna try, let's see, 400 to four. Let's see. That's about right. Good. And they're just gonna do their thing. Good. I can do just about anything with this light. It's almost too warm. I'm probably gonna have to cool it down. If I switch to auto white balance, it will probably nail it pretty well. A couple other things I can do out here, but let me tell you something. The sky is the limit when you have this type of light, but you better act quickly because it's gonna go down fast. Hope you enjoyed this lesson.